Hello and welcome to Manny's Making. This is part six of the chain tutorial. Now this one I discovered through Nancy Hamilton. You can check her out on YouTube. She does lots of wire work and I just thought I would include it in my chain series. So this is called a fly eye chain and this is what it looks like when you've got uh, quite a few links. This is 22 links put together um, and it produces a three inch chain. So I'm going to explain how to do this but the materials you need are uh, wire and this, I'm using 20 gauge wire to do this. Uh, wire straighteners to straighten the wire to start with. You need flush cutters, um, some kind of pliers in case you need to tweak something and definitely need round nose pliers. So let's get started. And by the way if you like this type of video or you want to learn more about this type of thing please uh, like, share and subscribe. It would be really appreciated. So first what you need to do is you need to cut your wire in, uh, let's move some of this stuff out of the way, in one and a quarter inch pieces. That seems to be reasonable to work with. Um, it's pretty tiny. You could go bigger if you wanted. It would make the, the links bigger in the wire chain and that would change the look of it. So this is it up close. It's quite a beautiful chain. Um, it could be used definitely in, you know, chain for jewelry with pendants and things like that. So it does take a little bit of work. Uh, definitely a beautiful handmade chain. So, okay. So you cut your pieces. Make sure they're flush on both ends, just like in all my previous chain tutorials. And let's zoom in a bit so you guys can see what's going on here. Okay. So what we're trying to do is we're going to be creating, this is what one of the links looks like. Okay, it's pretty small as you can see, it barely fits on my fingertip here. So um, that's the first link is how you start it and we're going to be, be making those. So what you're going to do is take the tip of your pliers and you're going to put it on the end of this short piece of wire. So this is a great scrap project uh, for sure you're going to make a loop just like we've always we've been doing uh, over and over and over again. So you're just going to make sure it's uh, all the way in and then I go past a little bit so it bends it. See how it sort of made this curved here rather than being flush straight. So I want to take it there and then I do another one. Now the first two you do the whole thing and then after that it changes. So I'm going to explain that to you as we go. So you make another one and See how that's sort of flat and I'm just going to bring it past that sort of center point to make it more rounded. Make sure both ends of the wire are parallel to each other. Now if you can see that they're parallel to each other and they're both facing the same direction. Let's see if I can show you that. They're both facing the same direction. Okay. So then you can just take your pliers, put them in the middle and you can bend the ends towards themselves. And the whole idea is you're trying to line up, make them equal and line up the two holes, the eyes on this chain so that they can, you can see through them. See how I can see through them and they're both lined up. So that's one loop of the chain. And you take your two loop, first two loops of the chain that you make and you put them on top of each other like that. Okay. That's how they're going to go together. So let me just leave this where you can see it. All right, so now we need to make another third one and this is where we start actually weaving the chain. So you're going to take your pliers again and make that round. Now this is great to do in an assembly line because you're going to need to make a bunch of these with just one loop on them. Okay, a ton of them. So depending on how long you want to make your bracelet, as I said, 22 of them made a three inch chain. So, you know, if you want to make an 18 inch chain, you're going to have to do a lot of these. Cut them all, trim them all so they're all flush on both sides, then do these loops on one side on a whole bunch of them. Okay? So then you take this loop, you take your two pieces, and this is the hardest part to show you. Okay, you take your two pieces so that both eyes are sort of inside each other. Let's see if I can do it so you can see it here. So you want to line them up. Whoops. So one is inside the other. They're just one sitting on top of the other. See how they're both the eyes are one on top of the other? Okay. So I'm going to hold it down here. It's easier. Below the eyes. Okay. I'm holding it below the eyes. I'm going to st stick this pointy end 
in the bottom eye. Remember those two loops that have to hook up to each other? And I'm going to take it, and this is the trickiest part, I'm going to move this so that this loop is upwards. So this loop is upwards. And now I'm going to make a loop, I'm holding it in this hand, I'm going to make a loop on this other side, again, to give you the other side of the loop. So I'm just taking my pliers and I'm twisting them around. These first couple are the hardest and after that it gets much easier. So I went past that point. Now I'm just going to take it, they're both parallel to each other, pretty close, and I'm going to take it and I'm just bringing it up so that both of those circles, I'm bringing it up over top of the other eye that's at the top eye so those two circles match up and I'm going to make it lay so that it's above the other eye. So you have the two eyes in a row, the third one's below, and we're going to do another one. So I've got the one of the ones made already with a loop on it. And then you're going to take it and make the loop the same way so that it just takes a little bit of, the first couple take a little bit of holding. I'm going to hold it there, and I'm going to turn this around. This is great practice for your loops, making loops. I sort of center that so it's in the middle. And I hold those two loops so they're pointing up and then I press them together and I try to make it equal. Okay, so, so wiggle it back and forth till they're equal. Put those two eyes on top of each other and if they're not quite on top of each other, you can take your round nose pliers and sort of get it in there and tweak them so they're on top of each other and go to the next one. So again, these two eyes are now on top of each other. See how they're on top of each other? Okay, so let me show you with a chain that's already in progress. So as you go, you can start to let go of the death grip on the chain. Uh, it takes to, to you get about four or five, so I'm making another loop on this piece of wire. And I'm going to take this chain, I just took a pin on the top so I knew where it was. So at this point, as you can see, I don't have to have a death grip on this. I just have to know that the two top eyes are laying beside each other. And I always do it the same way, so I'm always laying this top one to the left. So the wire on the top is to the left. Okay, and I'm going to stick this through that hole, the bottom of the two eyes. So I'm sticking it through the bottom of the two eyes, holding that loop so it's facing upwards, making another loop. Now this is a definitely not a beginner, this is a little bit more advanced, but if you've been following along and making all the other chains, you should have some of these skills down pat. Now I'm just going to make sure that they're both level. I just did that. And I'm going to take it and bring it up. So to find the middle and I'm bringing it up so that they both match. And I just push more on one side or the other side depending on which one's longer. So the longer side I push more on to sort of bring it to the center. Flip it so that it goes to the wire goes to the top wire goes to the outside and you continue. So you'd put your next piece. So this is what it looks like as you go along and as you can see um, the first couple on the bottom are still kind of loose but that's okay. I don't mind that. And I've flipped the wire so that you get this lovely twist. I don't know if you can see the twist in it. So the wires are always flipped the same way and you flip, 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 flip and as you go and it produces this lovely chain. You can use this for lots of things. As you can see, it's it's. I want to show you on the size on my wrist. It's not very big. Um, as I said, if you do it with a, a much bigger gauge wire or a longer piece of wire, you're going to get a, a much bulkier chain. So definitely wonderful for sort of Celtic and Elven. And so, anyways, thank you, Nancy, for Hamilton, for this lovely uh, tutorial that inspired me to make one of my own as part of my chain series, and. Uh, Definitely, if you like uh, me, push the like, share, and subscribe, and all the list of materials will be below the video. So don't hesitate to try your own fly eye chain. And uh, take care, and thanks for making something with me. And from Manny's Makings, keep on making.